and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders. Sorry. What are you doing? I'm singing one of my favorite songs, head and shoulders, knees and toes. Um, I don't know. Why? It is one of my favorite songs, particularly when I'm thinking about being made in the image of God. You know, head and shoulders and knees and toes. Being made in the image of God. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Celebrate Wonder Week 3. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Of course, we have Miss Laurie, our director of Children and Youth Ministries, and Laud the Lamb. And we're so excited that you are here for Week 3. Um, as we celebrate wonder and how God created everybody in God's own image. Um, we hope that you have been enjoying these weeks. If you haven't received an activity kit for Celebrate Wonder, please let us know in the church office and we want to get you hooked up with that. But we're really excited to get into our story and our song and everything for today. So why don't we head inside so uh, we can continue to celebrate wonder together. Sound good? All right. Come on in. Hi, everybody, and welcome to week three of Celebrate Wonder. I am Miss Lori, and this is Laud, our resident lamb. And we're going to start today with our wonder table. Here we are, and we need to light our candle, right? Yes. Now, we all have the agreement that I light the candle, so we don't, you know, light the lamb. There we go. So this week, Laud, Laud's going to help us answer some questions. He's got his, his handy whiteboard. What does it mean to be a child of God? Really? He doesn't know. All right. Let, let's see this time, okay? How do you know if you are a child of God? Are all people, I know, are all people child, children of God? He doesn't know. I think we're going to need to ask an expert. <laughs> Look, it's Pastor Meredith. She's an expert on this. I'm an expert on this? Yeah. I'm an expert on this. Hi, everybody. This. Good to see you. Now, what was the question? Um, what's it mean to be a child of God? That is an excellent question. And are we all children of God? Well, I think so. Are you adults know. children of God? Absolutely. Even you when you're all grown up. Even me all grown up. All of us. Children of God. That's what Jesus tells us and that's what our Bible tells us. You know, our Bible story for this week, Laud and Miss Laurie, we're still in the book of Genesis, but we're getting toward the end of that first chapter where it says that on the sixth day of creation that God created all of humankind, all people. In God's own image, God created people. Male and female, God created them. All in, God's Im all in God's image. All children of God, don't you think? So we learned that from our Bible story. The other thing we learned from our Bible story this week is that at the very end, after all of that creativity and God had created humankind in God's image in, uh, in all of our wonderful color and diversity and all the ways that we are, God rested. Because apparently creativity needs rest. <laughs> right, Laud? Oh, yeah, I He's think tired. so. Well, it's hard to be mm. a lamb. It is. Mm. Mm. For sure. Hmm. Okay. Well, you want to roll the wonder cube now? Yeah? We have our wonder cube. Let's see what our question is this week. We had that question last week. We should what is roll the again? favorite part of the Bible story? Clearly, all of us being created, but let's roll again. Oh, here we go. What did the Bible story teach you? We are all children of God. That's what I learned. Even if you're all grown up, you are a child of God. Amazing. That is amazing. I like yes, it. You're a lamb of God. We'll, we'll still claim you as a child mm -hmm. of God. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We're getting ready. We're going to watch our Bible story on the video, and we'll be right back. See you in a little bit. Bye.
Greetings, friends. It's Carly. In our scripture, we are still walking through this amazing story of God's creativity. God already made different times called night and day. God had already created homes for living things, both of the land and the sea. Then God filled these places with plants and animals of all kinds. And then God created human beings. That's us. Have you ever thought you were an expression of God's creativity? When you look in the mirror, what do you see? God sees someone good. You are good. When God created humans, God created them in God's own image. What does that mean? Take a deep breath in and release it. It means God's breath is inside you. The coolest thing is that God didn't just randomly put humans here. We were put here with a responsibility. We were given the opportunity to be in charge, not to boss everything around, but to take care of it. We are to care for each other, the earth, the plants and animals, and everything else on this earth. Wow, that can seem like a lot, but when we work on it together and we all take a piece of the responsibility, we can really care for all living things. In my house, my mom makes me and my two siblings all clean the house as our chore. When one of us doesn't help, it makes so much more work for the other two, and sometimes it's too much to handle. When everyone doesn't help, the dishes don't get clean, or the towels don't get folded. It's our responsibility to help care for our home, and it's so much better when we work on it together. When we all work together, our house is taken care of, and it's a great place for us to be. God gave all of us the responsibility to take care of the home that we all share, the earth. The earth is so beautiful and we get to be a part of the story of creation. Our amazing job is to take care of all the living things in the earth, including each other. How can you help care for the earth and the living things in it? It would be much better if we can all play a part. Now, it's time for you to wonder. We're back. So, our word that we're dealing with through these few first few weeks is creativity, okay? And we're gonna need a little bit of that for what we're doing today as our project because remember, we're talking about what does God look like? Again, God is gonna give you a hint. He still doesn't know. But if you remember from the Bible story, we're created in the image of God. Now we all look different, but we're still created in the image of God. So this week, you have, just grab some paper in your house. There is some in your binder that you got in one of the, the side pockets there, some paper. You've got some colored pencils, some crayons, and draw what you think God looks like. It's totally up to you. Be creative. Can't wait to see what you guys draw. Bye. Hey everybody. Grown-ups, we have not forgotten about you. Now kids, you can do this too. This is kind of for our grown-ups. You can post on some post-it notes, some notes around your house, words of affirmation. Make everybody feel good as they go about their day. So, I love you. Things you need to hear in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Reminders. There we go. And of course we want people to know that they feel loved when they go to the refrigerator. And don't forget, turtles, they're creatures of God too. It'll make Nugget happy. Okay, this is the last door that everybody goes out that lives in my house. It's in the garage. So I want everybody to know as they walk out this door that they are enough. So keep that in mind this week as you put some words of affirmation around your house. And believe me, it really does make people feel really warm and loved and happy. Bye guys. 
Thank you so much for joining us again this week for our week three. Remember this week that you're a child of God and are loved. Yes, you are too, I know. And some things to not forget, your celebration chart. So we have some more check marks here on things that we've done, so don't forget that. That's a pretty fun thing to do with your family. And we've loved this time that we've had with you guys. Why don't we, as we're finishing out, share together in the spiritual practice that's in your activity kit and your binder this week. Um, you've been doing all of this exploration of creation and of being created as a child of God. And um, just join me in this. So everybody put your palms, your hands up like this so you can see your palm of your hand and you can put your hoof up if you want to, Laud. And then look at your hands really closely and look at all the lines on your hands. All the lines. I have a line that goes like this and then another one like this. I know, look at that. I invite you to trace the lines on the palm of your hand. And while we're doing that, repeat after me. God created me just as I am. God created me just as I am. God made me from the palm of God's hand. God made me from the palm of God's hand. And if there are days, and if there are days, when I am feeling afraid, upset, or down, when I am feeling afraid, upset, or down, I can touch my hand. I can touch my hand. And know that God is always around. And know that God is always around. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us, of course, for Celebrate Wonder, uh, for Laurie and Laud the Lamb and myself. We say have a wonderful and blessed week. We can't wait to see you again next week. And make sure that you stick around for a few minutes to join in with our music and singing with our wonderful video. Um, God made it very good. See you later. Bye, guys. You did first things first. You dreamed up the earth And with just a word You made it so, so good All the stars align Just like Very good.
made to need 